What is JSONP? And why was it created? I understand JSON, but not JSONP. Wikipedia's document on JSON is, was, the top search result for JSONP. It says this. JSONP or JSON with padding is a JSON extension wherein a prefix is specified as an input argument of the call itself. Huh? What call? That doesn't make any sense to me. JSON is a data format. There's no call. The second search result is from some guy named Remy, who writes this about JSONP. JSONP is script tag injection. Passing the response from the server into a user-specified function. I can sort of understand that, but it's still not making any sense. So what is JSONP? Why was it created? What problem does it solve? And why would I use it? It's actually not too complicated. Say you're on domainexample.com, and you want to make a request to domainexample.net. To do so, you need to cross domain boundaries, a no-no in most of browser land. The one item that bypasses this limitation is script tags. When you use a script tag, the domain limitation is ignored, but under normal circumstances, you can't really do anything with the results. The script just gets evaluated. Enter JSONP. When you make your request to a server that is JSONP enabled, you pass a special parameter that tells the server a little bit about your page. That way, the server is able to nicely wrap up its response in a way that your page can handle. For example, say the server expects a parameter called callback to enable its JSONP capabilities. Then your request would look like HTTP colon slash slash www dot example dot net slash sample dot aspx question mark callback equals my callback. Without JSONP, this might return some basic JavaScript object, like so. However, with JSONP, when the server receives the callback parameter, it wraps up the result a little differently, returning something like this. As you can see, it will now invoke the method you specified. So, in your page, you define the callback function. And now, when the script is loaded, it'll be evaluated, and your function will be executed. Voila! Cross-domain requests. It's also worth noting the one major issue with JSONP. You lose a lot of control of the request. For example, there is no nice way to get proper failure codes back. As a result, you end up using timers to monitor the request which is always a bit suspect. These days, 2015, causes the recommended approach versus JSON request. JSONP is still useful for older browser support, but given the security implications, unless you have no choice causes the better choice. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to learn JavaScript. We have a number of awesome tutorials in the works.